Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, welcome again, everyone. Uh, so you guys are joining us on week two. We've had our first week last week. Uh, so the course started on uh, July 29th. But yeah, so we've uh, opened a continuous application uh, to accept uh, trainings every week and uh, get them on board. So yeah, let me just say uh, some things about Ten Academy. So as an introduction, Ten Academy has been um, founded on the 2017s. It's been going on uh, until now. Uh, we have uh, three different programs. Uh, one is the intensive program that's training uh, uh, trainings on data engineering, machine learning, and um, uh, generative AI. Uh, and uh, we have another program called um, the Kafiga AI Mastery Training Program that's only focused in Ethiopian fintech sector. And yeah, so we train uh, people on data engineering specifically for the fintech sector in Ethiopia. And the other one is the University to Jobs Program, which gets uh, trainees job ready, not job ready, uh, employable uh, right after uh, could be university or also could be for uh, undergrads with uh, people who have no background on uh, any kind of um, tech field. So yeah, so this uh, program is basically uh, trying to train people on project management tools, AI, uh, and uh, no-code platforms, and also, of course, uh, project management principles. So yeah, this is aiming um, to graduate trainees on uh on making them being able to use uh ai and no code platforms efficiently uh to maximize their work and also be employable so yeah that's increasing their employability so basically this program is about that we've had week one last week as i said earlier but each week we have 12 12 weeks of uh, the program but every week has different challenge, which does not depend on uh, uh, ch on different challenge that we give during the weeks. So last, if you have missed the last week's challenge, it's okay because the this week's challenge is completely different and also independent of the past week. So uh, I just want to. Um, uh, let you guys know that it's okay that you have missed the past week and that you've joined us in week two. You still have uh, 10 weeks in front of you that you can catch up and also uh, get on board on the challenge. So uh, uh, we have sent, I think, an onboarding document, but just to get over that, I just uh, wanna go through how the week works. So uh, this, uh, this uh, stand-up session is different because this is an introduction and you guys are just training. But so on the other stand-ups that we are going to be doing in the next um, weeks are, is going to be, uh, so, okay, Gannett, do you have a question? Let me just stop here. If you have a question, you can unmute or you can um, type it out in the comment section. Your hand is still raised. Okay, okay, it. Let me just continue. I I think. Um, okay, so um, uh, so every week on Monday we will have a an introduction session for the challenge doc the challenge document that that we will be sharing for you guys. So that challenge document will have a specific tutorial session that you guys uh, are driven through it. And uh, we have the stand-up session that I just said earlier, that's where we communicate uh, as a team, as a group, what we have been doing, what uh, we have progressed on, and if we have any impediments, blockers, anything, we uh, work on that during our stand-up sessions. And uh, so we will have tutors on that stand-up session, and you guys can always 
uh, get in touch with them on the challenge that you are facing or on the actual challenge documents. And so, yeah, regarding the stand up session, that's that. We have a schedule um, uh, on our notion. We share that every time. So, whenever uh, you have a question or any suggestion, you go to the uh, we all week to uh, or all week specifically the week that you are in and um, say whatever you need to say there regarding the week. And yeah, so uh, we have that. We have submissions two times a week, actually three times a week. That's the first one is the interim submission, which is uh, a midweek submission that's uh, to just motivate you guys to start working on the challenge before the actual deadline. So you'll be asked to submit uh, one or two tasks of your challenge, uh, your, your the week's challenge on the first uh, interim submission, which is always going to be on Wednesday, 8 p.m. UTC. And then you'll be asked to, uh, to submit the final technical submission on Saturdays at 8 p.m. UTC. So you'll be submitting your whole um, uh, challenge uh, submission on the Saturdays and midweek on uh, Wednesday. We also have a career challenge. Uh, so on the careers challenge, um, we have uh, on Wednesday, on Tuesdays, we give the careers challenge introduction and then you'll have three days to work on it and its final submission is always going to be on Fridays at 8 p.m. UTC. So that's basically it. So I uh, would also recommend you guys to use the right channel to ask questions. We uh, send out the schedules and also the, uh, the challenge documents uh, through Slack. So I also recommend that you guys are active on Slack and you can also reach out to the tutors there. So yeah, I would really recommend that you guys are active on Slack. Um, so aside from that, um, just let me just go through the um, schedule of the day. Uh, just give me a moment. Let me just share my screen and um, help you guys uh, through the um, schedule. Give me a moment. Okay. Okay, am I sharing my screen? Can you guys see it? Just yes, give me yeah. a top. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so today we, so now on the other side of the room, we are having another morning stand up for the ones uh, that uh, joined us on starting from week one. So this is for them. But so today uh, we are now having the morning stand-up intro to Tain Academy and U2J. So this is only uh, week two new trainees onboarding. And then you guys will be having a tutorial session uh, at 12.30 p.m. This is uh, showing me uh, on the EAT time zone, but uh, so the notion is set uh, with using the UTC time zone, but it, it will adjust to the time zone that you are in. So that's okay. Uh, so it, it should not uh, necessarily be this time if you're in a different time zone. And then you'll be having a community building session. So what is a community building session? That's where you guys interact with your fellow uh, teammates or trainees on Slack and uh get to know each other or um yeah just uh have uh communication there with each other uh, so our community building um that manager is emilia you'll meet him i think later on but uh so yeah you'll be doing that with him and you'll be having another tutorial session on creating interview questions later today at 3 p.m eight uh, that's on my time zone. And then you'll have this uh, challenge uh, work time, which you can have for yourself and work on your challenge document. So we'll be sharing the challenge documents 
right after this session and uh so you'll have time to just go through it and also join this uh session using this link but we will uh definitely share it on slack you can find it there so the week goes on just like that every day we have stand-up sessions that you are recommended to join because if you have any questions there you can address it and whenever you need uh, guidance, extra guidance, additionally uh, to the tutorials that we have here, you can always ask for it and we can adjust time that works for each of you and then uh, uh, work on that with, the, with our tutors. So yeah, that's basically it. So I just want you guys to focus on today and every day we'll be announcing the schedule for the day. So I don't think you guys uh, will be having any problems um so um yeah just so for introducing just me let me open my camera so hi guys uh i am Matita and we have ready it here uh that's your technical tutor one of your technical tutors we have another technical tutor that's Kiro, and you have your and as I said earlier, also you have Emilia, um, that's your community building manager. And if you have any any questions, you can always reach us out on Slack. So let me just open this page for any questions that you guys might have. And yes, let's go through them. So I see Ganna's time still up. So if Ganna, if you have any questions, you can ask uh, or type it out on the comment section. Yeah. So I'm leaving this uh, stage open for you guys. If you guys have any questions, you can raise your hand and we can um, discuss on it. Could it be any question about the program? Could it be uh, about the schedule? Could it be how you guys are going to be working through the weeks? Could it be anything. I mean, this is the time where we uh, communicate where we ask questions, get answers, and get guidance. So yeah. Where did I is that? Ask Charla. Oh how are going? Okay. Ask Charla, you can go ahead. Okay, thank you very much, um, Miss. Um, actually, I have missed the last week um, the whole course, including the challenge. But as you know, that on uh, Ethiopian time zone, this is a time at which we are uh, in our job. So I don't know. Uh, I really need this experience, but I'm having a real, real challenge on on uh, being in line with you. So. Um, I mean, if you have any any way to to go in line with you, to to do the challenges, to to take the tutor. I know you have a YouTube channel, but it's better to be um, uh, live, you know. So the experience is better when we are live. Um, so I don't know. I have a complaint actually, as Ethiopian time zone uh, with the with the schedule. So um, if you have any advice to go in line with you because I need I really need this experience um, I, I I need uh, regarding related is really related with my uh, um, full-time job so uh, I need it if you have any advice to take the tutor and to, to do the challenges so that's my question thank you very much uh, okay, thank you, Aschalo. So, as I said earlier, I don't think you've joined us at that time, but so the challenges are independent of each other. So, there is completely no problem that you have missed the first week. But I really recommend that you keep track of the coming weeks. And yeah, you can just start from now for that question. I can say that week two is the one I recommend that you focus because already the submission time for week one is passed and so the challenges are also passed but for week two you can um start from scratch and it, it does not depend on the previous week and regarding the schedule yeah we have we uh receive 
uh, comments like that and i can also understand that but so we are not um asking you to actually be present or we're not you're not required to attend all the sessions but as you see we have a youtube channel we upload it there but in addition to that um in addition to that uh you can ask for help you can go through the challenge document i recommend that you watch the challenge introduction and if you have any question or if you need any guidance uh we can schedule a Q &A session or a, an additional tutorial session for you uh, with that with one of our tutors, and they can just uh, take you through the challenge again and help you uh, through what you're um, challenged. So I think that will solve it. But yes. I was woman, yeah. So I understand that you're in the office during the day, but I really recommend that you're active on Slack because you can ask questions there and yeah. you have answers yeah within five minutes. So uh yeah you can also DM the tutors and me at any time. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, so um, I think uh, Hara Going had a question, or you are in mute, so if you have any question, you can go ahead. You are in mute, I think. Um, okay, let's say that's, I'm sick, but if you have any, uh thing to say you can speak at any time so what is saying hello i have uh, already submitted the challenge but there's no notification whether it's submitted correctly or not so what is for this question i think you've uh you were um admitted on the first week and so you will be uh if you have submitted it i think the tenants uh will just accept it but you can, I think, look at you can log into your Tenex platform and um, see if you have submitted it. And if not, you can ask on the Tenex uh, support channel on uh, um, on Slack. And I think I would just say that you're. I recommend that you go to the other stand up session. This is for uh, intro for new uh, admitted trainees. So I think you'll have good answers there. Uh, and um yeah so isaac is saying please i was just admitted and i got to know that there's already that this is already week to everything is looking strange how do i get started so okay that's a really great question um, i have i think we've shared a notion that uh will be helping you get on board but just to give you a highlight it's okay that you have joined us on week two so the each challenge that we give on each week does not depend on each other. So you can just start working on week two. We haven't started anything. We haven't given the challenge documents as well for week two, not yet. It's on the schedule. You can find the schedule. Let me just share um, the link here. You will find the schedule here. I'm sharing it right now. Yeah, so you'll be having a tutorial session in about an hour. Um, yeah, so I recommend that you join that, and um, sorry, uh, you join that and get started with the challenge. So the tutors will be giving you guidance, and also if you have any question, you can ask us on Slack. Um, so just uh, something that I did not mention, that I just remember, is that you'll be, I recommend that you guys log into your 10x. Uh, and if it's your first time logging in, you have to change your password and use the email address that you used um, for a registration uh, when you applied. And yeah, so uh, all the challenge documents are going to be there and you're also um, expected to submit your challenge, the assignments that you did, that you did on the Tenix platform. And also you'll be getting feedback there. Um, yeah, so it's very, uh crucial that you guys um log into your tenex platform and just play with it and if you have any question like navigating in it we already have a document uh for for our guidance through tenex but you can always ask on slack there's a channel um called tenex support i think all tenex support yeah 
So you, you guys can go there and ask. Okay. Um, so Gunnar is saying, as it is asked before, it would be a great opportunity if it aligns with the Ethiopian men work time. Um, yeah, so this is an international um, training that we're giving. So we're also considering others. So that's why we have a UTC time zone. Uh, so you can, but you can still uh, ask for an additional tutor if you're not, uh, if you're having the challenge, of course. And also we'll be uploading the, the um, sessions and about two, three hours after the session ends. So you'll find it on YouTube channel and also we'll also share it on Slack. So yeah, I recommend that you first watch the in the tutorials. And then if you have any question, of course, we can have a group um, session with the tutors. Uh, I hope that answers the question. Um, work Issa, Isaac, and Gannett. I didn't ask earlier, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Any other questions? I don't see any sign. Did I see everything right or you guys are not asking? Okay. Yeah, uh, good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Colin. Yeah, good. Good morning. Uh, is it just me or Colin? Are you breaking? Okay. Good morning. Oh, okay. Well, uh, First, uh, I, I must say it's uh, oh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I think I can now. Yeah. Can you hear me well now? Yes, yes. Now I can. Hello? I can. Okay, I, I was just saying overall, it's uh, it's been very interesting. Uh, sincerely, and, uh, I just think uh, maybe for. For some of the uh, uh, present, uh, Collins, it's uh, it's really hard to hear you. Could you pick it up? As maybe we need the beat of the. Especially where it has to do it. <laughs> Lot of it because I was see last week I had the, when I was doing the task, the major challenge I had was the, with, the, you know, the technical aspect where we had to do the V lookup. Can you see here? Hear me. You know, for me, it's very hard to hear. So, can you please type it out? 
I think he left. Um, I think I saw a hand, or uh, I think Hedrick. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name uh, correctly. I'm sorry yeah. if I'm not Hedrick. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. Um, quite in, quite interesting. Um, you know, um, lesson or training. Um, I have a you know a challenge with. Uh, you know, I actually joined last week, but and I'm using uh, my office, my office uh, system. So um, I find it difficult because the the system is showing uh, Google Drive as an unsupported, you know, um, is it platform or whatever. So I couldn't, uh, I couldn't even uh, open the Google Drive or even read the link and upload my assignments. So I tried all day, throughout yesterday, I, could not, I couldn't. So I realized it's the office that has, you know, um, blocked Google Drive. So I don't know which other means can I use to to upload my assignments. I, would, I try using the conventional, you know, attached file using email. I saw that there was no such platform provided. So I was frustrated. You know, I tried all night, you know, uh, this morning again, I tried. I saw that uh, it's actually the office. They didn't support Google Drive. So how can I be supported to be able to, you know, to upload my assignments? And even when I when they share those folders on Google Drive, I can't open them. So I need support. Thank you. Um, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, so you were not even able to open the challenge document? No, I, I was able to open, you know, I saw like the week one, all the tasks and everything, I saw it. Oh. I did, yes, I was able to get the Google Sheet, the Excel mm -hmm. Google Sheet. I did the assignment, did the Excel Sheet, I did mm -hmm. the analysis, the average, and all totals and all those things. And then I also did uh, you know some part of the report but mm -hmm. when i converted to pdf and try to upload on google drive using link and all of that it couldn't um, yes okay and and we were also we were asking for a link to your google drive to submit right yes but i can't i can't use google drive on this my system because it's an office mm -hmm. system and it don't support google drive okay Yes. So, okay, so we haven't had this uh, kind of problem until now, but so what I can do for you is uh, get this to the 10x team and okay. let's, let's look for a way that you can, where you can upload or send us your assignments okay. and then I will be creating a group with you and the 10x team. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Because the other alternative is to get a laptop, and getting a laptop now here is about eight hundred thousand naira. You know, okay. a good laptop, yes. So, uh, so which requires some preparation. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I understand. I will be creating the group and texting you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, Getacho, I see your hand is up. Hello, Makita. Hi. Hello, Kita Chow. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Uh, I'm new to, to the program, actually, uh, and receiving the email yesterday. Uh, I have been just looking the platform Slack Slack and the Tenex. Uh, but my question here is just, Regarding the overall course uh, objective and the structure, how to get started? You know, you know the topic is somehow uh, different from uh, what we know so far. Uh, and the other question is the schedule. So I may not be uh, available all the time since I'm uh, working. So how could I cope up with uh, 
uh, schedule and just uh, courses overall. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. So uh, regarding the course, uh, I think you have nothing to worry about because each challenge is independent of each other and you'll be having an introduction session to the challenge actual the challenge document uh, every Monday on each week. So to get on board, I think what I can say is for each week, I think you will have to uh, go through the challenge and also the challenge uh, introduction session. And if you if you cannot attend that, that's okay because we upload the session on our YouTube channel. We have the link uh, on Slack. I'll uh, be sharing it again. Uh, so I think you'll be okay if you do that. But if you still have a question, as I said earlier, we can rearrange uh, Q&A sessions with the tutors and get you on board. Um, and regarding the schedule, the schedule and you uh, attending is so we do not require uh, uh, full attendance. We just uh, recommend that you join us on the stand-up session where people ask questions um, um, and uh, talk about uh, the progresses that they've made or any challenge that they've faced. So you can, I believe that you uh, can benefit from that. But if you also cannot um, join uh, on the um, stand-up session, you can just send your question on Slack. We'll be uh, in touch, active, so you'll have answers there. But uh, yeah, so the sessions are not mandatory and you're not uh, required uh, to attend, to pass or anything. So I just recommend that you see the YouTube channels and uh, also uh, ask questions on Slack. So you've joined Slack, right? Yeah, yes, I joined, yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh, the first step that you could take. Yeah, I can. Yeah, so uh, that would not be a problem, and you can also DM me directly. So All right. I'll be here. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Okay. Do we have another question? Um, so just to add on that, um, what is the uh, grace period? Okay, so grace period means uh, the time that you have after the actual deadline of the submission. So we accept uh, submissions 48 hours after the actual deadline. So if we are saying that you guys are expected to submit your assignments by 8 p.m. UTC on, let's say, the interim submission and the final, the same time, by the way, for each, uh, so if we're asking for a uh, submission at 8 p.m. UTC, but then you could not submit your assignment by 8 p.m. UTC, which means I think it's 11 p.m. EAT, you have an additional 48 hours to finalize it and submit. So does that answer the question? Lul? Great. Okay, so Tarafa is saying I was on the other meeting on the same platform. Is this meeting only for newcomers? Yes, this is for the newcomers. Hello. Okay. Uh, hello. 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 Yes. Colin. Yeah. This is. This is Collins. I guess you were not hearing me the other time. Either you can yeah. hear me now. We can. We can. Okay. okay. First, I was saying week one was actually very interesting. And uh, for me, it's what I've been looking for. Uh, so that was trying to say that uh, maybe going forward, because of the challenges personally I encountered, uh, uh, last week, maybe going forward uh, for the uh, main technical 
aspect when uh, the presenters are delivering, uh, they may need to be slow a bit, you know, because uh, while doing the task, I actually encountered uh, uh, some challenges. Some area was very, very easy and actually very interesting. Like the area of uh, where I need to uh, filter when I got in my uh, data, I needed to filter, I needed to do the V lookup. You know, I was just trying everything. I was trying average, median, whatever. So I had challenge with that uh, area. So again, I want to ask or say, is it possible that, uh, uh, that uh, now that we have done that particular task, is it possible that we can maybe go over it now to uh, maybe just go over through that uh, task, maybe with one of the uh, presenters. I don't know if that's possible or that is a task that will be used throughout uh, the program. If it will not be used throughout, if it's possible, I would really like to go through it maybe with one of the uh, technical persons so that I can better understand it because it's a core aspect of what I am doing right now and what I also do more uh, in the future. So that's what. Um, uh, you. Uh, you? We're losing you again, Colin. Um, can you hear me, Colin? Just give me a thumbs up if you are. Can you hear me? Um, I hope you are, Collins. Let me just type. Um, okay. Uh, until we get a response from Collins, then okay, you can. Okay. Um, so, Combs, what I wanted to say was, so your question is uh, a really good one. I really appreciate you asking, but we do not have any tutor here because this is an introduction for the ones that are joining us just uh, today for week two. Uh, it would have been great that you have that you uh, have joined the previous the other stand up session, but that's okay. We can still go through the challenge with the other tutors by um, organizing another session with uh, could be Red Eight or Kerot. So what what I can do for you is uh, let me just I think oh so Colin left. Um, okay, so I think Tarafa had a question. Yeah, uh, thank you. Actually, I have asked this question on the other platform. Uh, since we are a newcomer for this uh, week too, so is there any separate session so that we can catch up with those who have already started last week, or how can we are going to you know fit with this system? Thank you. You're welcome. So um, you do not have to catch up on anything because the challenge does not do not depend on each other. So it's okay that you have missed the past week. So the reason why we opened the application in a continuous way is because the challenge does not depend on each other and anyone can join it at any week and get on board. So what you can do is um, go through the, uh, let me just share it here. Uh, the, give, me, give me a minute. Um, I'm sharing it right now here. Um, yep. So you can go to that uh, onboarding uh, Notion page 
and you can just go through what you have to do during the week. But so uh, we'll be having the introduction to the challenge of the week on 12.30 p.m. EAT. So you can bring that and just get on board with this week's challenge. So you don't have to catch up on any of the challenges that were done last week. Um, does that help? Does that answer the yeah, question? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I shared the notion page on the uh, message box. So you can go ahead and go through that. Do we have another question? Because if not, let me, let's, I recommend that you guys just navigate through Slack and also your Tenex by logging into your Tenex and see what's there. Look at the onboarding document that we've shared there. And yeah, so I recommend that you guys do that until the start of the uh, introduction session to the challenge documents. If uh, if none of you have any questions, okay, I will be sharing the challenge documents shortly uh, through email, so you'll receive that. You can just uh, skim through it until the challenge uh, introduction session is up. And also keep an eye out on your stuff because we practically share everything there. And we also expect you guys to be interactive and asking questions uh, on Slack. That's where we'll be um, um, active as a team. So, so Lulu is asking Are the entrance admissions graded? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But um, yeah, definitely they are graded. Every submission that you make uh, is are graded. And so the idea of the interim submission is to help you guys start working on a challenge or on your work before the actual deadline. Because as as people, we have a manner of starting and finishing something right up, right on the deadline. And as, as an academic team, we're not uh, encouraging that. And we recommend that you start working on the challenge right when you receive it. Yeah. Uh, maybe I have uh, one question regarding this submission. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, yeah, the part of the submission, which is going to be submitted on Wednesdays, is going to be graded. But uh, what about the remaining part like we are going to submit the remaining part of the our uh, challenge on uh, saturday so uh, during saturday or on saturday are we going to submit all the uh, all the part of the document or only the remaining one since you have already submitted the interim one wednesday so um on the challenge on the challenge document that will be sharing uh there will be a specific um a specific, um, I would say, um, requirement for your submissions. So you'll have this, this, this submissions for the interim, and this, 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 this submission for the final submission. So it depends on each week, but so during the introduction session for the challenge document. Or even when we share it, you can go on the submission time and just look at what is expected to be submitted. Yeah. So not participating in each challenge is going to affect our program, even though it is independent. Uh, so not participating in each challenge is going to affect the program. Even so, it is not. Of course, it affects your um, uh, your activity on the program, but so it's your of course uh, your ability to work on the challenge. So if you're able to attend all the week's uh, challenge, then that would be perfect for you. But we recommend at least you complete four weeks challenge. 
So do we have grace period for the entrance submission also? Yes, you do. Yes, you do have a, a grace period for all the submissions. And this is the thing I was uh, submitted on the time, but the entry was not graded. Uh, okay, if that happens, so what you have to do is reach out on Slack and the team will get on it. So for this, let me just write your name here and I will reach out on Slack. Okay, sorry, please. I, I didn't get uh, an answer from you. My network was really terrible. Yeah, I could tell. So what I was saying was this session is for the ones that are joining us on week two today. So it would have been great that you've asked this question on the other stand up, but it's OK. So I uh, appreciate that you asked that to go through the challenge uh, now. So what we can do is uh, we can organize a session with one of the tutors and uh, you you can go through um, the, the challenge, the past uh, week's challenge and what you have done and the questions that you have. So does that work for you, Collins? If yes, then I can uh, create a group with one of the tutors and uh, you can see a time that you are available uh and you guys can work on it does that work yes yes that would be nice that would be fine oh. okay 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 so i will add you to i'll send it on the comment section Toby, if i'm correct um, yeah. Okay. I will add you. Um, yeah. So we are close to the, our uh, end of flight. So can you, you guys with um, getting to know the system, getting to know flag, motion, and also uh, get your own board with the starting um, page on motion. Yeah. And also, I will be sharing the challenge button right away. So I recommend that you skim through it until the session starts. Okay. So is everyone good and ready? Yes, Dr. Chala. Um, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't uh, hear well uh, when when the last uh, person asks. So, uh, were he saying that uh, was he was he saying that that um, are you having a tutor ab about the last week? Uh, yes, yes. So he wanted to go through the last week's. Okay, so I'm interested too. Hello. I, I can hear you. Okay, so I am interested to, I would like to participate too. Okay, okay. We'll make sure to announce it on Slack, so keep an eye out. You okay. can join then. Thank you very much. You're welcome. If any of you actually are interested, then you guys can join. Okay. Okay, great. So this has been a really good session and just welcome again. I hope to see you guys uh, yeah, on each startup if you guys can make it. Okay, thank you guys. Have a great day. Okay, thank you. Thank you.